tonight on Big Brother. The housemates up for eviction are... A nomination night bombshell for three of the girls. Shane, Estelle, <gasps> Layla. <sighs> Could Estelle and Ryan's romance be over before it has started? In the last couple of days, we've formed a really special bond. A new task with the Big Brother police in charge. Pull your vehicle over immediately. A surprise housemate who can talk underwater. Hey, my God. It's me, Surly. There you go. And what's behind the secret door? That's okay. I knew it. I knew that was happening. I really knew it was. <laughs> the housemates have known for a week that this day would come. I guess the game has begun then, hasn't it? But the shock of nomination still hits hard. I love you, love you, <laughs> love you. Thanks. I didn't care that I'm up for eviction. It's the people that I thought. It's just me being honest and pe pe thinking they're people that I thought. It's obviously not that way. This sucks. <laughs> oh, what a shock. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I just, I don't know. I just, I guess I didn't expect it. Because no one said anything to me. So I'm just like, well. Oh. If I'd had a negative experience with someone, it would have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. would have justified it, do you know what I mean? But it can only be me, so. Well, you can, a lot of people said you can tell certain people that have gone up, but. <laughs> all I can say is I, I, know, I know you're being you. That's, That's me, I'm just the me. the game started. Thanks, Ryan. So. I guess I'm not here to play a game. I know. I'm okay. I'm totally okay with this. Just be. Just be really honest with your emotions through this, though. Don't just yeah. all of a sudden block this. Like, no, you understand? I'm not going to. And I'm yeah. fine with that. Like, it's just one of those things. And it's funny because it's just something. Yeah, see, they're all the same. It's all. You know, just one or two that I thought, yeah. But not one. A couple of curveballs, eh? One I expected. The other I didn't. The other two I didn't. Heavy. Well, you get, a, you get a week to try and convert it then, don't you? Touchdown. You know? I told you. I knew it. It's a lot of Nice girls today. finish last. Oh, no, they don't. Oh, no, they don't. But it's funny because I actually said to the boys in my cast, and I said, I'll either be the first to leave or the last to leave. Yeah. I'm going to be the first. That's not right. That's no, not right. it is. And that's, you know, I'm looking at this from a logical perspective, an absolute logic perspective. People don't want me here. I'm okay with that. Hey. That's totally okay. I'm that's, totally okay. It just, it's it was something that things. had to be done. We had to do it, you know, we had to do it. It's just something that had to be done. I, you know, it was the worst thing, the and worst was, feeling was in the world. That was gross. Fine. Yeah, I've got nearly half the votes okay. in one hit. <laughs> oh dear, that's that's okay. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, there you go. It's just one of those things. There you go. Indeed, there you go. <laughs> oh gosh. Layla, how are you? I just feel really bad because I didn't want to have to nominate anyone. Like I just felt bad on him. Oh, me, like, oh, I'm a tough cookie, like, I can take it on the chin, but I feel sorry for them because I felt, I feel really bad. No one probably feels bad about me, but I just feel bad for people all the time. I think that's just, that's just me all over. I always feel bad for everyone else. It's kind of hurtful when you feel like, you know, waters are quite calm and that you're getting along with people in a positive sort of way to think that there's not been one defining moment to justify why it is that you may be up for eviction, like why it is that your time may be up. But it may just be based on something petty. That, that's quite a surprise and I guess you could say it's, a, it's quite hurtful. I was pretty surprised in regards to Estelle um, being up for eviction. Um, it's pretty disappointing that there's a possibility that she might be leaving the time I've been in the house, we got really close to her in the last couple of days, we've formed a really special bond. 
He's so sweet. Yeah, he's been funny. I think he's oh. genuinely like, really like he doesn't want you to go. No, yeah, but then he's lovely. He goes to me. Um, but I think more than just like a friendly thing. I yeah, think he, and this is what this is what. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So I was like, oh yeah. He goes, I was reading this book. And I was like, oh, it's a magazine. Mm. He goes, oh, it's a men's health magazine. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, he goes. Apparently, when two people, like a man and a woman, are put together in like a really weird environment and they get along, like it means something really good, like it's meant to be. Yeah, he actually said that to yeah. Star. Really? He said, yeah. And I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah, man, like, look, like, this is the most Like, unnormal. if you can get along with someone in a yeah. really stressful environment yeah. and it's like meant to be. The bond that we've formed, it's, it's getting stronger day by day. I'm starting to like her and, and um, Starting to feel for her a bit. Um... Is there any more than a oh, lovely like friendship? He's, he's really, like, he's lovely, so but... I don't know if I'm capable of, like, those sorts of feelings. Like, what do you I'm mean? just open Everybody's to whatever. Capable really. of it. You'd be surprised. History for me states that men in my life are not necessarily stable. Or but you're capable of feeling it. Oh yeah, but I don't know that that's like I'm not looking for anything. I'm mm. open to feeling. Nobody's feelings, ever but really looking, and when you are looking, you never find. No, she looked at me tonight with her eyes, and I could sense, um, you know, the connection that she looked at me, and she goes, "Look," she goes, "I'm, I am who I am. I really, I really like her, big brother. We're, we're really close." Does Estelle know this? Um. I would, I would, I think so. Might have to say it tonight to her big brother. Coming up, Ben and Ryan's run in with the law. Stand on your right foot and hop. That's it, hop. The weekly task has been set up in the backyard. It's a marathon test of endurance and patience. And if they fail, there'll be no money for luxuries and a diet of basics, rice, pasta and vegetables. Housemates, it's time to hit the road. Big Brother has arranged a road trip from Perth to Dreamworld. Mm. To pass this task, mm. all you need to do is complete the 3,627 kilometre trip and stay out of trouble. Oh, but no. housemates, beware. The road you travel falls under the jurisdiction of the Big Brother Police. Good luck, enjoy your trip, and remember, housemates, keep your motors running. We're gonna be driving for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a full speed, there's a speedo too. The motorbike has a speedo and a domino that will only work while the throttle is being turned. This is it would actually spin there and it would count the case. There has to be a person in the sidecar at all times. Break the speed limit and you will incur the wrath of the Big Brother police. Housemates, the task begins now. Were you hooking up with Stell again last night? Yeah. I think she's so beautiful, but then again, I, I think I like um, naturally good-looking girls. Yeah, like, she's I think, natural, isn't she? Yeah. That's what I like as well. I don't like the fake. It's going to be a long trip. 3,600 kilometres will take at least three days. That's a lot of riding and a lot of time spent together. Oh, yeah, I spy with my little yeah, eye. Or I wear jeggings. Something <laughs> like outside, outside of our vehicle. Beginning with... P. Plants. No. Um, police. No. Um, pots. No. Do you want a clue? Yeah. Oh. 
What's the clue? <laughs> Police helmets? Yeah. Is that what it was? Nah, it wasn't. It was power pole. There's no power poles. Well, that was fun. <laughs> prefer a swift kick to the head. <laughs> um, alrighty, my turn. I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with M. M? Yeah. Where is it? I can't tell you. I mean, you can't tell me. This is the whole point of the game. I say a letter and you have to look for it. I can't really look, man. <laughs> um, Good game, though. Yeah, it's been real. Every fur animal that is farmed now is actually skinned alive. Every single one of them. Sarah is an animal rights activist and she's happy to share her views with anyone who will listen. <clears throat> 20 yeah. high, and they're in cages this hundreds, big. There's three hundreds. foxes in cages this big. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and, hundreds and rows and rows, like a supermarket. Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Country girl Zoe sits on the other side of the fence. What's your favourite cut of meat? Hmm? What's your favourite cut of meat? Cut or tight? Tight and cut. Um, I love lamb chops. Love oh, full quarters. Yeah. Um, what or about, even what just about all beef? Chops. How well, about beef, like? Beef, um, probably scotch. Scotch and scotch waggy. Um, no, I don't really like waggy. I think it's a bit overrated. True. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But the rice bit, she's a bit overrated. Yep. Um, nothing better than scotch, I reckon, or rump. I've, um... Or ribeye, if you can afford it. Driver, do you know the speed limit for this section of road? It's, it's 100 kilometres, officer. Correct. But the speed of your vehicle has been recorded at 110 kilometres per oh, hour by police radar. Badasses! He's speeding no, 110 in the 100 zone. Right. Exit your vehicle, remove your helmet and approach me. That's you too, sidecar boy. <laughs> now crouch down so I can look you in the eyes. Oh my God, this is so scary. Are you currently impaired in any way? No, officer. No. Hmm. Very fit for purpose. I'll be the judge of that. Should you be wearing glasses? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> You've got no arms. All <laughs> 10. Stand up. Stand on your right foot. Which? And hop. <laughs> You're on the right. Hoppity, hoppity. Hoppity, hoppity. That's it, hop. <gasps> Now, whilst hopping, pat each other on the head. <laughs> Coming up, Surly, the talking fish. Oi. It's the first time there's been a fish tank in the Big Brother house. And Michael's about to find out why. It's the home of Surly, the talking fish. Oi. Oi, Michael. <laughs> it's me, Surly. How you going? <laughs> now, Michael, don't let anybody see that I'm talking to you. If anyone turns up, just keep cleaning, all right? All right, Sills. And if you tell anyone I can talk, you'll be evicted immediately, do you understand? <laughs> Too easy. How are you feeling today? <laughs> um, it's going all right. Seven out of 10. Well, your day's about to improve, my son. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about this house. But first, you've got to prove that I can trust you. Do you understand? Yep. And I give you a little mission. Do you accept it? 100%. What is it, Sells? Your secret mission is to go and give every single one of your housemates a nice cuddle in the next 10 minutes without them knowing that it's a challenge of any description. Do you understand? All right, I accept your challenge. Michael, 
This has to stay between us. No one can know that I asked you to do it, do you understand? I got your back, Sirles. If anyone asks why you're doing it, just say, guess you're feeling huggy. When you're done, come back and see me, and you'll be laughing, mate. Off you go, son. Good luck. <laughs> Don't let me down. I got your Sirles. Michael, what's going on, mate? Are you hiding from the shade? Do you mind if I come have a hide? Come here. You know, I'm a little ginger. Come here, Uncle Papa. <laughs> Uncle Papa. <laughs> How many cat did you pull? 200. Killing it. Am I the best? Boy, those sausages. That was, that was the best. Well, that was the best thing in the world, dude. Really? Thank you for the feed. No drugs. Are you right after the ride? No. Oh, dude. It's too tame. Oh, oh, God, I just feel liberated now. <laughs> and now I can be who I need to be. But if you were to get that dye, I'd come straight to you. Hey, thank you for doing the washing. Oh, okay. I feel bad. Don't hug me. Please don't hug me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I used to hate cuddling at school <laughs> in year seven. I'm looking forward to being Bring it in. Oh. Bring it in. Why did you get that Sales. Michael. Yep. Well done, old son. You did well. Now listen very carefully. Go to the bedroom on your own and find the multicoloured spiral ornament on the back wall. Grab hold of it and turn it slowly. A quarter turn to the right to be precise. And don't let anyone see you, mate. Don't be a donut. If I hear you've let the cat out of the bag, I'll get very prickly. If you ever need me again, go to the diary room and say to Big Brother, I'm feeling surly. All right? Keep this between you and I, old son. I've got your back now. You did well. You're my boy, Surly. Go quickly. This is the coolest thing in the history of the world. Oh. Oh my God. Next up, Charnay's cleaning habits. Do we have any disinfectant for the bench tops? Earn her a spray. This is always in the kitchen. <laughs> Crazy. To save Estelle, call 1902-559505, SMS Estelle to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. Bradley isn't letting Estelle's hook up with Ryan deter him from spending as much time as possible with her. Well, has Brad been by Estelle's side yep. the whole oh day so God. far? The entire day. He needs to stop. I'm going to have a little chin wag to him. I'm going to talk to my little bro. Yeah, you need to have a little man to like, man. Dude, just occasional. Muscle to skin. Muscle oh, to bone. Brad, chill out, mate. Just do a lap of the pool. Have a think. 
Have a think about it, let her go do her thing and then catch up later and be like, how's yeah. your day been? Yeah. Shanae and Sarah are supposed to be keeping their eyes on the road, but they keep drifting over to the boys in the gym. I wouldn't mind cuddling up to Ryan, it'd be quite nice. His arms. Yeah. I'm like such an arms girl. Ryan's got the best arms too. Yeah. I mean, I don't I've never seen this. Ryan like hit like that, and I was like, Ryan's got well, another I muscle like down the there. The boys doing the worst, those two boys are so, what's the day from on the treadmill? And I'm just staring at him like, oh, God, I shouldn't stare, I'm seeing like a curve. Like, it's just like, oh. How are they feeling? Yeah, good. Loving it, eh? All my boyfriends, oh, no, he's not, he wasn't really a boyfriend, he's more of a fling, I guess. Before that, I was in like a full on relationship. And that would have been the last sort of time. That How long was that for? The relationship? Two years, nearly. Um, and was and the recent guy, did you see the cracker or was he just. No! Squat down. Squat down. Like this. Oh, I can't. Oh. You can, you can, you can. I want to. Woo! You and the sidecar. What do you do for a job? <laughs> I actually sell motor vehicles. Hmm. I'm going to have to get you to prove that. <laughs> How do you do that? Sell them a car? Sell them the bike? <laughs> Why don't you get out and try and sell me that bike? <laughs> I need to be sure that you are what you say you are before we let you go forward. Okay. It's actually a six speed and it's a direct shift gear. It actually changes gears for itself, by itself and in four seconds flat. Okay, yeah, tell me more. If you come around the front of the vehicle, you'll actually oh. see that it's got... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's got nice little revving tune. As you brake, you'll actually find that it brings the car down, so you won't feel yourself jolting either way if that's not what you want to do. So are you telling me it's speedy and practical? Speedy, practical and actually fantastic value for money. You will not find another vehicle on the road that has got better value for money than this vehicle here. Oh. Do you want to go inside and wrap this up? Uh, no, look, <laughs> that, uh, that sounds good. It appears you are who you say you are. On your bike, ladies. Continue oh. on your trip. Oh, Thank luck. you. <laughs> Four housemates nominated Charnay for being too controlling, especially in the cleaning department. Hi, big brother. Charnay. I was just wondering if I could pop into the storeroom to get some garbage bags, paper towel. Um, do we have any disinfectant for the that we can use on the um, bench tops? And also, if we can get some disinfectant for the washing machine, please. You'll find most of those things in the kitchen oh, or brilliant. the storeroom. Thank you so much. Is there anything else? No, that's it. You may leave. Thank you. Wait, you're right. Shanae's never out here. She's always in the kitchen. It's crazy. Yeah. Someone who's chained her to the kitchen. Man. And we said we would have a kitchen free day. She, she could not have a kitchen free day. Sarah, Shanae and I said this morning that we would have a, a self-imposed free of the kitchen and cleaning day. And it just has been, they've been doing the opposite. She's got good posture. She's got very good posture. Yeah, she's got great posture. Yeah, have you noticed that? She's got good posture, Shane. Yeah, she carries herself well. Yeah. After the break, Shanae frustration. Maybe they feel threatened by me. I don't know. To save Layla, call 1902 559508. SMS Layla to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. Michael's time in the secret executive bathroom has expired. 
You are all sacred. I'll give you that. But things aren't so comfortable outside where Angie and Stacy are taking their turn at the task. I'm like this, I'm like... Oh, yeah. The housemates have been driving for nearly seven hours. They've clocked up 700 kilometres and are now on the edge of the Nullarbor Plain. What's that? Oh, it's oh, no. So pretty. Oh, big oh, so pretty. It's a winter wonderland, girls. <gasps> Drive slowly. Get out and build a snowman. So gorgeous. Oh, be delicious. He knew, he knew we needed a little pick-me-up. He needs a little feathers. Right. So I'll let that soak. Just give them a bit of a tub. I'm gonna need spray. I will do the other toilet. 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 I've always wanted to be a biking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> more, wait, guys, guys, more sexy. More sexy. More sexy, that's not sexy. <laughs> it's so fun. But it's funny. I can't do sexy. Come on, Stacey, you can. Just take your top off. You wrote the book, what are you talking about? Oh no, I wrote the book of what not to take home to your mum. Ah. Have a letter. What you doing? Damn, baby girl, what is your name? Is that where the emu was? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bradley's secret was that he has a fear of birds after an emu attack as a child. Yeah. Vish emu. Oh, mate. Coincidentally, Ryan has the same phobia. And people go, when people go, oh, you're scared of birds, I tell them. And they're like, oh, how can you be scared of birds? And I tell them, it's, look, it's not like a dog or anything that you can pat. Yeah. They've got a beak, claws. Yeah, and they, they can, can like, they can just pass. flip out. Like, you yeah. see them, like, you know, like, big, like, pros. Yeah, they can freaky. do some damage. Yeah. Like, as soon as I walked in here, <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh, if they were real, I would be like this. Or, yeah, if they were real, I wouldn't go near them. I'd be walking around like this all the time. There were these pigeons and stuff, yeah, and they'd yeah. like hang out at my school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all diseased. Yeah, oh, pigeons are disgusting. Like, yeah. so rat on wings. Um, have you got drinks? Have we got water? Charnay has been cleaning up for the bike riders all day. Get a water. Some water would be. Two bottles of water. My water is. My water bottle's on the kitchen. Do you want bench. some gloves? That person right there. Yeah. It's just got a completely different kettle of fish than a lot of people. <sighs> See, I still do things for people, and they roll their because eyes. Because you're a beautiful person, mm. that's why. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And you know what? Wow. Like, the days. <sighs> the other thing is, we're not walking in their shoes, and they're not walking no. in ours. They might exactly feel right. that we're. They might feel that we're doing that to them. Maybe like they feel they threatened are, by me. I know? don't know. But why it's would somebody just, feel threatened by me? Just in general, I've, I've already found it quite hard to connect. I think... Oh, I, as, I, a, as a per yeah. Just as a person, like, I, I can't I connect with it. I don't connect with her at all. I feel like I, feel like I piss her off at yeah, all times. Yeah, me too. I feel like, because I'm like a really touchy, huggy... And I like, hugged her before and she was like, don't ever it. hug me again. <gasps> and I was like, hucky ducky. Yeah, That's what I don't understand. Know. People take me the wrong way all the time. And I don't yeah. mean it for it to happen like this, but I don't know why they do. <sighs> I'm wearing yellow for Christ's sake. <laughs> the friendship colour. Exactly. And keep wearing it too. I don't know. I'm kind of, I guess maybe it's me just missing, missing like-minded people. Missing the people that I know. Like, you get me. Estelle gets me. There's a few people in here that understand me and get me. And I'm missing those other people that do get me. You know? And maybe that's you know just what? what it is. You don't have to be got to be validated. And you know what? That's not your audience. One person is not your audience. One person in the crowd doesn't like you, what do you do? Oh, you nothing. keep I going. Care. I don't care, because there's about 50 other billion people that do. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, you just put everything in perspective. I don't know how it's going to go and sit in Big Brother and go... Ah. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> catch yourself, so then you don't get me, somewhere yeah. where you can't come back that's from. That's true. All right, I'll see you over. This um, is Big Brother. Gentlemen. Male housemates to the man cave. Yes. Oh, no. oh, Come on, boys. No, Jog it in. Come on, boys. Jog it in. The 
The boys have gone to the man cave to discuss the girls' secrets. Oh, man. Yeah. And I say Sarah's 100% the right, high let's school go dropout. Group consent. I don't want to do this too early. Obviously, we'll change this day by day. We'll put these ones over here that we're not 100% on. I'm happy with Sinead. Have you got to see her behaviour? Her behaviour? <laughs> With clean, cleaning and shit. She spends all her it, day it, in that it, kitchen. I, I, like, and I know, I know it seems obvious. But, but it's the same you're... with Michael. Yeah. But we'll, we'll put her at 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Stacey at 100% yeah. we're good with. Um, Have you guys seen the legs on uh, Zoe? That is a way that's what I'm saying. Oh, she, I, I said, said to her today, was anyone she watching me in the pool when I said to her, will you bench press me? And she said I, yes, and then she went she to lift me, me, and she, she went to today. do it, and she did it with technique. And up for the royal family, I think if it's not Angie, it's maybe Estelle, because she said that she's got another family she speaks to every week in Holland because she's been over there riding. And I said, so what's this family like you're staying with? She goes, they're loaded, they've got so much money, they've got their own stables. She goes, the house is awesome. Is there a royal family and in Holland? And she goes yeah. to me, I go, so how close is she? She goes, I'm that close to like my second family over there. She could just be the cousin. She yeah, does look second. like a princess. She's pretty hot. She, <laughs> she could pass as a princess. I don't know if you guys have seen Princess Beatrice, which is not actually <laughs> Coming up. This is Big Brother. Benjamin, that's a clear breach of the housemate guidelines. <laughs> to save Sharnay, call 1902 559504, SMS Sharnay to 199 or vote on Facebook. <laughs> Benjamin has broken one of the cardinal rules of the house. You know a lot to be spoken to, rotten. This is Big Brother. Benjamin. You were speaking without your microphone. <laughs> oh, me scoop it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, white cut it. That's a clear breach of the housemate guidelines. <laughs> This year, Big Brother disciplines errant housemates by sending them to the naughty corner, where a tedious task awaits. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what it'll be. Lights on, please. Oh, oh. Benjamin, as you were naughty, you've been sent to the naughty corner. You must now remove all the chewing gum from the bottom of these thongs until further notice. How hard it is. <laughs> oh, they're happy. Oh, that yeah. does look easy. Oh, that looks like it sucks. That's going to take a long <laughs> By the end of the day, the motorcycle riders have covered more than 1,200 kilometres, but they still have 2,400 to go. They're hoping to cover it in two days, providing there are no calamities. We love you. Sorry love to see you go. I hope we, you have a really good time. <laughs> no. We're not going to get tired. <laughs> We'll keep you motivated. Motivated? You look oh. so good. Oh. oh, she didn't know. She didn't, she didn't know. know that she said it. Motivated. motivated. I, like motor, like, because we were making. Oh. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest thing in the history of the world? That's ridiculous. Should we go to bed? Yeah. I'm going to stay and support Ben. Go, Ben. <laughs> It's really hard. It's not easy. I think it's hilarious, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to know where that bubble gum's from. It's Cheeky. You've been talking to Josh again. Josh is that he's over 100 women. So, yeah. Amy, want to go on a date? So, anyway. <laughs> that was funny. I'm Me just too. trying to save him from Vic Vic. I'm not worried. Create a love triangle and the teenage girls will be like, who's she going to pick? That hunk or Ryan? That'll be the question. That's what they'll say. The hunk or Ryan? Oh, who's she going to pick? You know, What's Jenny? your perfect girl? Truth. Someone who Truth. is <laughs> as funny as you, look like, is sort of physically like Layla, 
Oh, that's the um, nicest thing anyone's ever said. I don't got nothing. It's from the Gold Coast. <laughs> from the GC. <laughs> no, Ange, you, you're lovely, but you're not physically what I'm into. Oh. You're very pretty. No, nah, you just dropped down on the list. My buddy. girlfriend looks very much like you. My ex looks very much like you. You're off the list. She Shoot. works at she works at Mac. Like, she's really pretty, just like you. you do, I just couldn't bring myself to go back to another blonde. Yeah. I don't want to talk about her. It makes me depressed. This is Big Brother. Due to poor driving conditions, the task has been suspended until no. further notice. No. We were legitimately enjoying this Big Brother. Oh. We're having a good time. Ben, ask BB. Big Brother, I have removed as much chewing gum as I can, and my fingernails are starting to dislodge. Is it, a, is it okay if I promise that I will always wear my microphone? That you let me stop doing this because I feel naughty. But I will be nice now. I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> Please let me leave. <laughs> Can you let him out, big brother? <laughs> Darling. You got me rich and just flew out. Was he the oldest person in the house? It's just not as you. I've got chewing gum in my teeth. <laughs> it's in my fingernails. I'm laughing with you, not at you, I promise. No. I'm laughing at him. Yes. <laughs> Let him out. Oh. How long have I been in there? He's been in there for like, You've been in there for like two hours. Can I help him, Big Brother? This is Big Brother. Yes. Benjamin. Yes, Big Brother. Big Brother is satisfied. <laughs> yeah, Benny! You may leave the naughty corner. Susan said she's Susan proud said too. Said that. <laughs> that looks like the well worst. Do you want to know something funny? Yeah. Well, I Ryan, not that one. I Ryan said to me all the time, and I've told a couple of you. It's well after midnight, and Bradley's still getting advice about how best to handle Estelle. Can I, can I, give, you, can I give you a tip? Yeah. Just stop for a day, coming in, just stop coming in super hot. Right. Cool yeah, down. Cool it off, cool, cool it off, right. cool it off. Right. Let her come to you. Just, 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 don't, like, just don't be there. But don't, follow, don't, 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 don't follow her around, don't follow, don't follow, don't follow, don't follow her around like a shadow. Don't stop. No, but seriously, just like tomorrow, just, just don't care. act like... Act like you're glad she's up for a Vico. Oh, oh no! Oh. Ah, bad move there. <laughs> but, Josh, but Josh has gone on a date. No, he's gone on over a hundred dates. Yeah, and know. I still don't have a girlfriend, so don't yeah, take advice yeah, so from maybe me. Maybe not yeah. take advice from him. <laughs> oh, no, I would if I were you. You know what, though? He does have a point with the cooling off thing. I wouldn't be saying I'm glad you're up for eviction, but I would. Yeah, don't do, do that. Do that. That's, like, a, that's a bad know. move. Oh, thanks. Oh, you smell good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You smell good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once now. Let's shave. I'll be back in. And yeah, I just got to think about one day. Ryan told Big Brother he wanted to tell Estelle he was falling for her. It hasn't happened. And now he's falling asleep. Layla. Yeah? Yes, Josh? If you don't. Get oh. Vic Vic. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I like where this is going. Because mm. you don't get Vic Vic. <laughs> do you think you will do things differently in the house? <sighs> what do you mean? Like... Will you act differently? Like around to people? avoid nomination next time? Nah, I can mm. only be myself. I, I'm, I cannot do it if I tried. Mm. I can't be fake You couldn't anyone. keep it up, though. Mm. Yes. Uh, like my game seven. plan is to be myself. If no one likes me, then, yeah. then I'm myself. Yeah. Mm. Good girl. Good girl, baby girl. Oh.